Are you looking to build a PC sometime soon, but you're not too sure if this is the right time to do it? There's a lot going on from new NVIDIA and AMD GPUs coming out later in the year, as well as a few part shortages because of the recent events that we're definitely having in the marketplace. So let's go over some possible build suggestions if you definitely need to build a PC now, or maybe if you should wait. So let's get started. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me for another video. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you like my content, leave a comment below. Are you looking to build a PC now around June of 2020? All right, guys, so let's get right down to it. If you have to build a PC now, especially if you've been at home and you definitely need to upgrade your rig, should you do it now or is there any reason why you should wait? Let's talk about a few reasons why you can definitely do it now in certain cases and a few reasons why you should definitely wait. So with reason number one, let's just get the big stuff out of the way. Nvidia and AMD are poised to release some new GPUs sometime at the end of the year. If I were to guess, I would say they're gonna be announced at the end of the summer like August or maybe to be released in September or October and of course remember right away when they're released sometimes there's a little bit of a shortage especially in the current world climate that we're in so you may not necessarily be able to get it that quickly but just keep in mind that new GPUs the 3000 series will be coming out like the 3080, 3080 Ti. Usually they're going to be releasing the higher end GPUs first, like those that I mentioned. So if you have something in this generation that's still doing okay, I would definitely wait. It's definitely not the best time to buy a GPU. First, because there might be a little bit of a shortage due to the recent world events. And secondly, because these are coming pretty soon. And while yes, they're generally probably going to be pricey still, but the performance is definitely as it is in every single generation going to be better. Now, some people say it might be significantly better but I'm not so sure usually they're sort of gradual increments of performance gain you may see a lot better performance in things like RTX and ray tracing there you're definitely gonna see I think more powerful GPUs playing today's games rather than the current generation but in terms of like a general frames per second improvement um, of course you're gonna see it usually in the past it's been somewhere between like 15 to 20 percent if you're talking about like a 1080 Ti to a 2080 2080 Ti something like that and of course these new GPUs are going to push the current generation GPUs prices down. Um, once again, I wouldn't expect it to be a significant, you know, the downturn. Like if a 2080 Super right now is, you know, 700 bucks, it's not all of a sudden going to be $200. It may go down by like 100 to $200 or something like that. NVIDIA is very smart and measured in the way that they release hardware because they know there's still a lot of stuff in the market that they have to sell and get rid of. So they're not going to automatically sort of invalidate whatever generation you have now so just keep that in mind so if you're building or upgrading your computer what do you do about the GPU my opinion first is to wait if you have something that's serviceable now you can play your games it's not doing too bad definitely wait because you're gonna be able to get faster hardware when the new stuff comes out and the price of the existing hardware is gonna go down if you want to pick up a 2080 Ti in a few months or something like that but when shouldn't you wait Obviously, if you have a dire need for a GPU, maybe you don't have a system at all and you have to build one from scratch, I would say it's better to get something reasonable now. At least you can play for a few months and wait until things are eventually released. I mean, we're talking about months from now. So if you have to get something, just be reasonable. You can get a cheaper GPU to sort of tide you over, then maybe sell that later. Or even maybe like a mid-range GPU, like a 2060 Super or a 2070 Super, if you want good performance. And the price definitely is not going to go down by a huge amount when the new stuff comes out now I would probably avoid getting like a 2080 Ti right now at like full price just because I think the next generation 3080 3080 Ti definitely are gonna perform a lot better and those GPUs since they're more expensive are more likely to take a bit of a price hit as opposed to something more in the mid-range like a 2060 super or something like that but once again if you have something that you can use now I would definitely wait a few months because remember a GPU can last you for many years I mean the current 20 series came out over two years ago so if you bought a 2080 Ti back then, you definitely got a lot of good playtime. So that's definitely my tip for the GPU. Just wait if you can. Now, talking about the next important component, that's going to be the processor. Now, Intel recently released their 10th generation CPUs. Of course, it's going up against Ryzen.
Ryzen's current 3000 series. Um, AMD is releasing some special versions of like the 3900 XT that just clocks a little higher, but we don't exactly have the 4000 series Ryzen CPUs sort of on the calendar yet. We know they're coming sometime, but nothing's really been confirmed. Um, so it's really a lot of speculation right now, but we do know that the Intel processors are definitely here. Um, in general, the pricing for these Intel processors for their performance has been, you know, a decent amount better. You have the 10600K, which is really priced very nicely, performs really well. Of course, stretching all the way up to the 10900K, which is certainly a little bit expensive, around $500. But for a 10 core CPU that goes over five gigahertz, it's really not that bad compared to what Intel has priced in the past. Now with the 3000 series Ryzen CPUs, a lot of them are at a pretty sweet price now since they've been on the market. So you're gonna have to decide if you wanna get something like a 3600X or a 3700X, or maybe go with Intel. Um, Intel has definitely been taking a beating the last few years, but at least with this generation, they made somewhat of an effort to have really comparable products at not too high prices. So in my opinion, if you get a good Intel system or a good AMD system, you should be okay. They're both having processors that are performing really fairly well for their price. I think between the lower end CPUs and the higher end CPUs like the 10900K, the 3950X, you definitely have a really good selection in the mainstream processors, all priced in sort of a step up fashion. As you go up a little bit more, you get a little bit more performance, but everything including something like a 3600 is still a fantastic gaming CPU if that's all that you're doing. 3900X is still great. And of course, the new ones from Intel like the 10600K and things of that nature. So definitely processors, you don't really have to wait on if you have to upgrade just because the only thing that's probably coming is the Ryzen 4000 series but that who knows when that's going to come out or exactly how it's going to be like so for now we have a pretty decent selection of CPUs so I think at least in that part you can make a much better decision than on the GPU side. Now let's talk about some of the other important components. A lot of them have had shortages. Power supplies, I know, definitely have had a lot of shortages. In fact, I remember a little while back when I walked into Micro Center, I just saw like empty aisles with no power supplies. The motherboards were also really bare, but now I think after Z490 came out, it seems like they restocked a significant amount. Maybe that was because the new stuff was coming. And of course, with the recent world events, who knows what happens with the supply chains, but the power supplies definitely were pretty sparse. Um, even fans, I didn't really see too many fans as you usually do. So I think those definitely got sold out with people building computers during the last few months, you know, being at home. Um, but some of the other components, they may not be at insane stock levels, but, you know, searching around through Newegg, Amazon, and Micro Center. So cases more or less also seem to be available. But once again, I would just assume that most components are definitely going to be a little bit more expensive than they were before. And you may have a little bit less selection just because the supply chains have changed a little bit we've had a lot of issues recently as everybody knows so to sort of summarize everything we've spoken about should you build a pc around june of 2020 or should you wait I think if you need a PC, it's definitely something you don't really have too much of a choice. I would rather have something usable for a few months so I can play games or work rather than have nothing at all and wait for who knows what hardware is going to come out with NVIDIA or AMD. Who knows how the pricing is going to be and performance, if it's going to be worth it. So if you need something now and you have really nothing to use or your hardware is really outdated, then I'd say you'd be okay. Make some reasonable choices. There's still enough stuff out there. It's not like everything's sold out. You may have a little bit of trouble finding a power supply or at least the one that you want but in general you should be able to find most components um, I remember when the mining craze with GPUs happened that seems like it was a lot worse a few years ago you literally could find no GPUs at all online or in the stores and when you could even certain stores were selling them at like double the price and for something like a GPU which is really really essential to a gaming computer it's basically the most important thing that you can have in there um, you know that's definitely a lot tougher at least now you can still find GPUs uh, maybe power supplies aren't available, but in the meantime, you can definitely find some and put it in there. Um, it doesn't make as big of a difference to your gaming experience as your GPU, as long as you get a nice quality power supply. But if you have something that's reasonable right now and you're playing the games that you want, it's not really terribly affecting you, I would definitely hold off on upgrading, especially your GPU, until the new stuff comes out a little bit later in the year, just because you're going to get more bang for your buck. And even if you buy a previous generation 20 series, you're definitely going to get a little bit better price. So I would say if you're okay waiting a few months, 
definitely wait. But if not, if you have to build it now, the only thing you really have to worry about is that GPU coming out and also maybe a few shortages with the power supplies. But in general, you should be okay with your other components like the case, RAM, even with the CPU, you have a pretty good selection between AMD and Intel now. So in general, you should be okay with that. So the only thing I would really be mindful of is that GPU choice. That's really going to drive your decision if you can wait or if you really need one now. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll see you guys on the next video.